rhino and other mega charismatic species of animals such as elephants and leopards and lions and buffaloes. Now the gorillas have become iconic. <laughs> Everybody wants to see them. They have become a major tourist attraction. And when it comes to economic growth, this is it. Tourism generates almost 10%. So if you want to ask the question that I posed, how can you be so endowed and be so poor? The road is very clear. We must protect and conserve and make it really a major international attraction where foreign exchange can come in the country. Unfortunately, by 1983, the rhinos were almost extinct. In fact, they were extinct. They were really extinct. And it is very unfortunate. The constitution of the Republic of Uganda as a policy of the state, we are committed to preserve and conserve all these things for us and future generations. And think for a moment, the future generation which would never know how a rhino looked like. Uh, this baby was born in, in Feb, 4th of Feb, 2018. And uh, we came to, to get this name after the European Union chose, chose to name this, this baby as our, our user activity of naming. We give a chance to everyone who feels uh, can name this rhino to, to name and give some fund which can help in the development and and the re reintroducing of the rhinos back in the wild. And uh, successfully, uh, the European Union chose and named it the name Europe. So from today onwards, the, the baby rhino will be called Europe. Uh, this rhino is, is from the mother. The mother is from Kenya, which was among the rhinos which were brought in, in, in Uganda in 2005 from Kenya. So this is the fifth calf of this uh, female rhino called Cory. It's one of the, the, the well breeding rhino we have and the founder group of the rhinos we have at the Zua Rhino Sanctuary. Europe is the most recent rhino to have been born in the Zua Rhino Sanctuary, the only place in Uganda where there are rhinos living in the wild. On these rhinos, is placed the hope to repopulate the Uganda National Parks. Keeping rhinos safe in Africa in the face of the surge in demand of rhino horn from Asia countries is difficult, risky, and costly. This is why, in adopting baby rhino Europe, we are pleased to help Ziwa Rhino Sanctuary to continue its breeding and management excellent work. We strongly commend and praise the work done at the sanctuary the European Union has a strong record of supporting conservation efforts worldwide. In our home, within the European Union, we have created the largest network of protected areas in the world. We call it Nature, Nature 2000. Globally, we work to protect animal and plant species uh, facing special threats. The European Union has a strong record of supporting conservation efforts worldwide. I would want, once again, commend everybody that has been involved in restoring rhinos which had become extinct. And I particularly congratulate Rhino Fund Uganda for reaching this milestone of conservation of rhinos in Uganda by adopting or adopting a baby rhino, the European Union contributes immensely to our conservation efforts.